Hi everyone, welcome. I'm down here in my wormery and um, if you've watched some of my videos recently in the past month, I have allowed a few glimpses of these three paper bags to appear in a few of my videos. They're just over here on the side, the normal place that we work on my worm keeping activities is over here on the bench. But a few of you might have actually wondered after seeing these in the background of a couple of my videos what these are all about and while I think the time has come for the reveal you might have remembered it was 30 days ago a month ago that I had um, emptied and repaired my outdoor compost barrel and long story short we extracted all of the contents of my compost barrel and we took a lot of the stuff that still needed a lot of breakdown still and put it right back into the barrel to let it continue but there was also a great deal of what appeared to be finished castings already and it was enough to fill up three grow bags and I didn't want to just bring the grow, grow bags in the way they were I wanted to kind of um, contain them quarantine them from the surrounding space so I put them each into a leaf collection bag and after 30 days I think the time has come to take a peek at what's going on in those bags so I'm going to put on a glove and get these up onto the bench so we could take a peek. Now one thing I could say for sure, when I carried these bags down from the, uh, from the backyard down here into the basement, they were far heavier. And I would have to assume that the, um, the thing that accounts for that is a lot less moisture being present in these systems. I wanted to check this one first because I remember reaching under here the other day and hearing the paper tear. So I wanted to see how much damage I created when I made that tear, but I guess it's not too bad. It doesn't go all the way through. It's just this outer layer. These are um, these are your typical leaf collection bags. This is what the township gives me, and um, what's inside is your typical non-woven or whatever this material is called grow bag. Let's get rid of the paper bag so we got a little bit easier access. That's not bad. I was holding it with one hand, just trying to see if I can handle its weight. So we've got material here that's a lot lighter than it was when we pulled it out of my compost barrel. Presumably because of a lot less moisture, but these are what I estimated to be mainly castings at this point. My outdoor barrel had been out there for a couple years already. I know a lot of stuff mixed in with this is still not broken down stuff. It was all pretty damp, so it was uh, a little bit difficult to handle this stuff. It was not crumbly whatsoever, and it still seems like it's um, pretty set as far as like a medium. It's not, not loose and crumbly. It's chunks of material. I would hope that the worms were able to kind of find little pockets to hang out in. The one thing I remember when I was scooping all this material into these bags was that there was lots and lots of worms in this material. I kind of figured it would be a little bit more um, kind of broken up and loose. I thought there'd be a lot more worms. I keep thinking we're going to bump into some sort of a spot where there's a lot of them. And you know, we're definitely seeing a worm here and there. And that is kind of the expectation that they're just around you know all over the place there was no no one large chunk of material like a, there wasn't like a big pumpkin in here or anything like that all the large stuff um, within reason was pulled out but you got to remember this stuff was coming out in big piles like this stuck together so that means at the heart of every clump like that there was you know big chunks of things in here and it does seem like maybe the one thing that would help this material along a little bit would be to just crumble it up a little bit and let it air air out a little bit. When I emptied my compost barrel into my wheelbarrow, I was able to till around pretty good, um, pour through the stuff basically to pull out large chunks. But stuff like this didn't get pulled out. Stuff that was larger got pulled out. This is going to be full of all kinds of stuff tons of food for these worms to eat. It does seem like I keep bumping into worms everywhere. 
But since there was no like one luscious, damp chunk of food in here that I was aware of, then I wouldn't expect to find a concentration of worms in any given spot. Maybe there would have been like little havens of some sort of yummy food that slipped by or um, a greater level of moisture for whatever reason. Um, but this material, it did f sort of feel pretty consistent all around. So I, I, don't, I don't think that there's going to be any little pockets of stuff that's very different from what's, you know, in the rest of the container. So I, I think what we've seen so far is what I would just expect to find in all three of these containers. But since it had been a month already now, since I kind of panicked and didn't want to leave them outside to freeze and um, have who knows what happened to them, um, you know, they've been in here and they've not been touched or looked at. So this is my first look at this container since it was bought in, sharing it with you. And I guess the one... The one observation I have is that the material does feel pretty good, you know. It's got a nice dampness to it throughout. Every time I find a little chunk of something, I feel like I want to break it apart. There's tons of stuff in here, all kinds of uneaten foods of various um, consistency. I mean, I would think a lot of this stuff is, you know, the, the peanut shells or the things that they can't just eat today. It'll stuff that'll break down in a year and then they can eat it. So perhaps the um, perhaps the actual you know ready to eat um, types of food that remains in here is very limited. I guess I'm just kind of making that observation and stating it out loud because um, for me it seems like getting the worms out of material like this material that they can probably continue to find pretty good food in, but it also seems like it might be pretty easy to lure them out. I was thinking that it would be kind of cool to try to set these um, bags up in a way that I can somehow lure the worms out of the material, have a sort of a migration, throw in some fresh bedding, some fresh food that's going to attract them over, keep it nice and damp, and see how many worms we can round up in here. It would naturally um, go right back into the paper bag and continue in a quarantine state because, you know, coming from outside, I don't know what I bought in here with this. And I don't want to find out the hard way. I know for a fact that my compost barrel has a great many types of creatures all working together, breaking down my kitchen scraps and household waste and stuff like that, gardening, trimmings, weeds pulled, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I got a feeling that it would be pretty easy to migrate these worms out of this stuff with some nice fresh food I could see putting some melon out there for them I could see putting some uh, pumpkin and I bet you they'll come running hmm and then hopefully we can also kind of leave behind other types of creatures that don't um, perhaps don't react as quickly as the worms you know maybe there's other sorts of like bugs and stuff in here that just stay put in the castings and we can perhaps lure the worms out that would be the nice thing. So I'm not going to check all three containers. I'm going to trust that they're all in similar shape. Um, I mean, it does seem like it might be nice to crumble up the material in the other containers too. A little bit, perhaps aerate it. But the worms also, you know, just seem to be fine no matter where I go in this bin. And I pick up a chunk of material, it's loaded with worms. So I'm not sure my crumbling and aerating is all that important here. Got to remember a month ago, this stuff was, you know, removed from its main container, tossed around inside of a wheelbarrow for a while, picked clean of any large remnant materials, and then gradually scooped into these bags. So it got pretty well aerated a month ago. Man, there's been fire trucks and all kinds of emergency vehicles running around outside for a while now. I wonder what's going on. So, I don't know. This is kind of an off-topic um, system, one that I don't even track in my tracking spreadsheet. To me, it's just an extension of the outdoor compost barrel, or I guess at this point, the product of the outdoor compost barrel. 
seems like if I let it dry a little bit more, I can maybe even start running this stuff through a, a screen, you know? All these bigger chunks of um, peanut shells and sticks might get caught and only only the really fine castings would pass through. That would be kind of nice. Hmm. Something to consider. Perhaps airing it out this way will actually pave the way for that. But I didn't really plan on doing much today. I was just really kind of um, annoying at me. <laughs> Not knowing exactly what the heck is going on um, in this material that I bought in. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't kind of crashing and burning there inside the bag without me knowing. But it does seem by being in the bag, it's had a chance to shed its moisture to a large degree but it's castings you know so it's going to stay nice and damp in the middle shouldn't be any sort of a hazard of it actually drying out to a dangerous point but um i don't know maybe if uh if there's interest let me know if there is in the comments um maybe we can go and check the other two out as well but for now i'm just going to pack everything up just the way i found it close up the bag and get it back into the paper bag so that I can roll up the top and keep this whole thing under wraps just in case there's stuff in here that's not worms, stuff that I don't want to have um, making its way out in, uh, into my uh, into my basement here. So, all right, everyone, I'm going to, I'll take care of get, getting this thing put away here, put back into the bag and back over onto that little um, spot in the corner where I took it out of. And like I said, I'll be happy to go through the other two containers. I'm sure it would just be more of the same, but it would definitely do the um, system some good to aerate it. And I'd be happy to do it if there was interest in it. But I also feel like if I didn't do anything, it would be fine as well. So eh, we'll see what people think. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please remember to leave me a quick thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching.